Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, another Tournament of Shame. We're playing Rocket League, 1v1s, best of three, me against Nick. Hey everybody, I'm terrified, I'm gonna get my ass beat, I've never played 1v1 before. I think this is like... I, first off, it's amazing how many Tournament of Shames revolve around fucked up soccer. Yeah, it like happens it's tons of times. <laughs> That's like our perfect uh, formula. I'll go, I'll go blue here. So just to set up the rules, it is the same usual crew. So it's me, Nick, Dan, Bear, uh, Alpaca Patrol, and, and Mathis. And we're uh, we're gonna do best of threes and in one v ones. And I've already ones. got a loss. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna do best of threes Great. in one v ones. So the, I'm assuming that probably like the top four will make the playoffs. It'll be the same as the goofball situation. First thing I've learned: don't go straight at the ball and then immediately expect. Oh my God! Really? All right, Nick, I'm, I told you in the call leading up to this, not to be cocky, but I played a lot of 1v1, and I, I feel, that's a great shot. Thank you. I feel like I can teach you something that will help you out so much, not only for this game, but for the uh, your future games, because I know that almost nobody else has played 1v1 either. Bear has, right? He's played a little bit, yeah, like maybe three or four matches against bad people. Okay. So the secret to not ever losing a kickoff which is integral to success in Obviously, game, huge, yeah. Is you flip, you do a front oh, flip right at the very end. Like, not to get there first, but basically just to make your car bigger so that the ball can never come over top of you. Okay. With that, it'll have, like, literally, like, a 90% effective rate. It'll almost never end up on your side. Worst case scenario, it's going to be, like, a dead ball in the middle. Sometimes, you know, the first goal that we add here will happen, and all, you know, or, or whoever hits it first will, will kind of get the advantage. It's real that? weird not having the time to go get boost because that's become my usual ritual <laughs> when I start out. Oh, good save. Thank you. That's the other thing is that, you know, saves happen a lot earlier. <laughs> or that not at all. That was a bad idea what I just did there. Shouldn't have done that. It's a, it's a weird position to score from, though. Oh. We have no defenders, so I'm not used to that. We don't play roles. Not used to that. <laughs> yeah, you really, like, uh, you have to, you're your own boss, that's for sure. And that sucks. Okay, oh, good. It. Oof. It, it's weird because, like, I feel like... Oh, man. It's in your best interest to be, like, really aggressive. But if you ever miss a shot, you're then in trouble. You're dead. So you don't want to be aggressive. Like, 1v1 is its own its own beast. I think it's a lot more strategic than, than people give it credit for. I see a lot of people being like, oh, 1v1 is, like, not real Rocket League. It's like a skill test or something like that. And that's... To some extent, that's true. That was very smart. Um, but it's I its own. Stop going up the wall here. <laughs> its own beast. I like it. So if anyone's watching this, and they're like, Fuck. "Oh, you know, I'm not going to watch it because it's one v one." I don't know, man. One v one's pretty intense. Mm. And I it, I'm glad that it's best of three. Yeah, I, I really didn't want to do just a five minute video. It didn't seem like the right thing. Yeah, it was just like, well, you know, we could get it done today, but it's not worth it. Yeah, it's it's a compromise. Best of three is better. Better test the skill. If somebody gets like a couple lucky goals, then right. It's been, yeah, because so much is on the tip off. If you just fuck up the tip off, all of a sudden you could have just lost. Yeah, exactly. Like some like of these games are, are going to be like, oh no. Oh. <laughs> some of these games are going to be like eight zero. I don't. I don't think it's going to be this one. But uh, some of them are going to be like two one. Right. And that, that's where like the tip off makes a huge difference. I think. I just hope Dan can actually uh, make the playoffs. Why? I don't think. He, oh, you know what? He made them and move or die. Oh, damn it. I think he's due for a, a breakout performance. All right, this might be his time then. And maybe you or I could not make the playoffs for once. That could very well happen. <laughs> Speaking of myself. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I think boost management here is like of the utmost importance. But yeah, it's wild, man, because you'll like center a ball. Or yeah, I shouldn't say you, but sometimes I will center a ball. And then I'll be like, you know what? I don't think this shot is worth it. I'll just go back and get boost and then, like, Shit. loop around and try again. Oh! oh, I didn't save it, though. It's going to roll slowly in in front of my eyes. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I want to see what the heck happened here. I actually would have had plenty of time if I would have just relaxed, but I freaking oh, yeah. overjudged or shot past it and then yeah, couldn't recover. I didn't see the, the kilometers per hour on that one. Yeah, that, that's exactly it. Like, that's the equilibrium you want to hit. I was playing 1v1 for a long time, trying to do, like, old meta of, like, front flip early to get there first. 
so many kickoff goals let in. Uh huh. The only thing I will say is that front flip meta, the way that I've taught it to you, has a counter, which is if you just sit in the net, then you get like an easy shot. But sitting in the net is a huge risk. I don't think I'm into that. I think that's too scary for me. It's like a, it, it's like a cheesy chess play or something like right. that. Like it's an easy hit if it. Oh wow, nice. It's an easy hit if it works. Oh, it dude, doesn't I work. The boost. Oh, there's so many vulnerable spots. <laughs> I really do think like it, for people who have not played one v one. You gotta, you gotta learn quickly. There's so many different strategies, like centering your own ball, saving the ball without actually being in the net. So, I, I mean, I am in a way too to my own horn, being like, oh, yo, yo, young Padawan, this is the, <laughs> this is the one v one strategy. But oh, I think it I'm will dead. be advantageous. Uh, instead of like, uh, you know, not knowing what you're doing, you're gonna get some tips here that you can use in the future. Although this is what happened to Dan in goofball goals, and then yeah. he went like like 0 and 20 or something. So anything can happen. I think the biggest, most important bit that I've learned already is just the tip-off strategy, because that is going to be a big one later. Tip-off strategy against people who don't know tip-off strategy will... It can win you games. Oh, that's going to go in. No stopping that one. All right. The futility of knowing the ball's about to go in and that there's <laughs> nothing you can do, it's so frustrating. Yeah, it, it really changes the way you challenge for it, I think, in the at certain areas of the field. That's that's why, like, you, you can't afford to be, like, super offensive sometimes. Right. Even if you got, like, a chance at a shot, you're like, well, if I miss the chance at the shot, oh, no. though, it's going to come back and be, like, oh, no. super bad. I didn't know your positioning there. I thought it was dead. Oh, I still am. <laughs> all right. That's all right. That wall is your best friend. The wall, it's not 1v1. It's one and wall versus one and wall. <laughs> I was going up for a little cheeky smack off the wall, and I just didn't have the right angle. If you can get it, I think that's a, a huge play. Thought I'd experiment with, like, a different setup. It never works. Every time I end up experimenting, it's just, like, an easy goal. <laughs> or an easy chance, at least. Okay, I was worried at the end there you were just trying to hand me one. I was not no, too no, 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 no. I would not. Uh, did we just rematch right away if we yeah, get ready? No reason not to. Okay. Just go right into it. All right. Just keep it fair. I'll be orange this time. Yeah, we know the colors really have a bias when it comes to scoring potential. Uh, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's the cheesy... Uh, if you know the other person's gonna front flip, that's how you counter. So if you go back, I can't hit it straight on. That's the yes. So you kind of have, you can't even really see, but you kind of have to like watch their name and be like, are they going in? And if they're going in, you go in. If they're staying back, the trick is you don't front flip. You just smash it as hard as you can, and then it makes like an almost impossible save for them. If they go back, you can't attack. Well, if they go back, you should attack. You shouldn't flip. But unfortunately, that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> What's most important is that it rhymes. The other stuff is really not it's, that. Yeah, it's a lot easier to remember. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's also invalid. <laughs> so you'll have, to, you'll have to figure that one out. Mm -mm. Like, if they go back, freaking pancake stack. Okay, means, all right. That I can get into. Means don't no. flip somehow. Well, you, yeah, you flip onto the pancake stack, so I don't know about that, actually. We're really going to have to think about this in the offseason. Yeah, well, you know, you, you've probably got two or three minutes before the next match, so... <laughs> Shouldn't be a real problem. But I really think, like, uh... I will say Bear knows 1v1 kickoff meta as well, so against him, you're going to have to play the game. But if he's not teaching it to people, then you should have a, you should have a little bit of an advantage over Dan and Mathis, at least. And Rob for uh, for that. I think I fight Mathis second. There you go. No. Run the fucking train on him. I feel like we're fairly evenly matched these days. I want you. That's not to, a slight at him either. It's just I want you to away. smoke the shit out of him. I think he was a lot better than me, and then he went away for a while, and then the meta's evolved. Oh, nice stop. But will it count? 
Okay, but uh, not in a second, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good attempt. That's the other thing in like 1v1, you learn like sometimes saves don't matter. Like, yeah. you'll, you'll save it and then it'll just pop it right back out to them. So you're like, oh well, fuck me, I guess. That replay was not flattering either. It made it look way worse than it was. Oh, you got my boost. Yeah, not even just boost management, but like boost. Like siphon filtering, <laughs> boost espionage, boost espionage. There you go, boost <laughs> subterfuge and oh, sabotage no. is enormous. And also, like it sounds shitty, but like killing the clock to some extent. Right. If you got like a one goal lead, just kind of like puttering around with it in the corner, or killing your opponent, I imagine would be quite effective yeah, as well. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm not a master of that, but I've played some people online who Crap. are really good at like demoing you when you're going in for a save or you're going in for the shot. All right, this is not looking too hot for me. Not nah, you guys. This is a warm-up game. I already played uh, five or six online today. Got nothing to fear. You're probably gonna need uh, like three wins to make the playoffs. In the playoffs, you know anything can happen. I think the worst thing is going to be if someone goes 3-0 today. Then right. when it comes to tomorrow's games, they're going to be like, I don't want to. <laughs> that was my shot. I, I'm not going to move around my schedule to lose three more games. <laughs> it's a real test of uh, fortitude. Oh. I could have flipped and gotten ahead of it. It was an impressive ball control, though. Kind of did like a little circus thing on it. Yeah, this is my tryout for Misha the Bear, Russian Circus 2.0. I did the same shit again. Enjoy. Except this time. That one went too high. Oh. No. Oh no, it's just gonna bounce <laughs> neatly in. Okay. I think that uh, you know is gonna sound like I'm being a shithead. I think it's the most points I've ever gotten on a single goal. <laughs> the, the shot was a long goal hat trick. Goal, Congratulations. <laughs> epic save and savior all on the same shot. It's remarkable. I don't know if it works from this angle. Let's just say it does. No, it didn't. I know, I just know the comments are gonna be like, wow, good guy, Ryan, teaches Nick kickoff meta to make him like predictable and then exploits it. <laughs> and all I gotta say is, you know, shut your mat, uh, shut your mouth, chat, unless you wanna be next. Shut your mat has Shut games. your mat. Yeah, well, I'm gonna shut him, possibly. Woo, 25 points! He's got some good angles, though. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting tournament. I think it'll be interesting to see who doesn't make it. Like, I expect you will make it. Do you? I do. I, I, I really don't feel do. good about it right now. I think Bear is a lock. I'll, yeah, obviously. Bears I honestly think that it's like Mathis, Rob, and Dan on the bubble. Oh, that's a good shot. I feel like we're just pr like practicing right now, which is not right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought yeah. maybe you cut that. I had an idea about how that was going to go. It didn't go that way. Oh, I screwed that one up a little bit. So did I. Might as well make it one more. Oh, you're just on your side <laughs> rolling? Cool runnings. Like this, sometimes it's like, you know, just bash the ball into the corner so you have like two or three seconds to get boost. Oh, come oh, on! Nice. Hi. We both got trapped in the sticky net. Yeah, there was a shot there, too. All right, good game. You good, beat good my games. ass, but I expected that, so it's not too bad. We'll both be back tomorrow with more games. Uh, I don't know who I play next in the tournament. I don't know who Nick plays next, but he thinks it's Mathis. Uh, of course, if you enjoyed the episode, check out uh, both of our perspectives. And, of course, you can check out the other matches in the tournament by going to Nick, Rob, Dan, Mathis, and Bear, their well, channels. And links in the description, so don't worry yeah, too much about it. It'll be all, you know, it's not your first YouTube video. You've watched. It might be. Before. If it is, welcome. It might be. Uh, and of course, subscribe if you want to see these matches delivered to your 
homepage easily every single day for now. Thanks for watching. Good luck in the rest of the Thank tournament. Thank you, you as well. I will see you and, soon. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Later.